Hello, welcome back FS Club. Got some news about FS17, why we haven't been getting mods and stuff, and FS19 since the press were able to see the game at E3. So, will be some confirmed features about that. Okay, here we go with the FS17 stuff. We in QA are four guys, one lead and three QA analysis. We also have one guy switching to QA currently, but since he is still mainly developing stuff for FS19, I will exclude him from the sake of this explanation. Normally only us three analysts test mods, make them console ready, and we all keep in close contact to the modders during this critical testing phase, either within the mod hub directly, our Discord server, or our newly added mod hub messenger. As most of you know, we have a big upcoming game due by fall 2018. Even earlier, if you count in the submission, it has to go through with Sony, Microsoft, and so on quite some time before the final release. The last few weeks have been really busy since we have our two of our Giants guys, Listerin and Ambrose, at E3 showing off the first glimpses of FS19 to selected press members. We were busy with the setting the stage, this means tracking down bugs, creating save games, uh, selecting the right machinery, regression test, testing bugs to make sure all is looking well for presentation. Um, aside from E3, we are continuously testing FS19, which is our main priority currently. You guys want to have a great game once it comes out, don't you? Some of us also have helped on other levels of development, supporting the integrators and coders are preparing other stuff in time for launch. Modhub is still something we have a quick glance at every morning, sort out uh, any bad uploads with with a quick sanity test uh, most of the time they don't even make it to Listerin's update list um, and we do try always have at least one person on current test schedule for either PC or console mods during the afternoon hours okay so so I hope I'm asking too much if you require a little bit of your patience currently rest assured mods are still being tested uh, it's just not as fast as you and we would like to have it. This ain't Burger King. We don't always get it our way. Okay, so that is why. They've been really, really busy with FS19 and everything. So, everybody be patient. We will get the mods in. Okay, next thing. FS19. Some confirmed features. More confirmed features. Uh, starting world for career gameplay. Uh, Lapaccio will return. And a US map and a third. Uh, most extensive vehicle uh, roster ever, new farming activities, new crop types, new animals including horses, new graphic engine, uh, dogs, whose purpose we aren't sure about yet, the agro ideal harvester confirmed in Fent and Massey Ferguson liveries, John Deere is confirmed, cotton and oat harvesting are confirmed, horses will be rideable, uh, crops will bend when driven over, not delete, and turn into a harvested state. Birds will randomly follow a seeder as per reality. They will not happen every time, but will random event as you seed. Uh, the store will contain 3D models of vehicles and tools, not just the 2D image like you've seen in FS17. Uh, then we have vehicle indicators will now be fully animated. That includes steering columns, pedals, and some levers, also visible outside of the vehicle. Uh, new suspension physics in both the axles and the driving seat. Uh, forestry will be easier. This includes the handling of the uh, the Scorpion King, and crop destruction will be added in the base game. You will have the option to turn it off in the menus. And another thing that is not on the list, uh, the interiors will now have lights and everything. At least that's what I've heard. But everything I have just said that's on this has been confirmed by a press and also by Giants. It is on their Reddit page. So I thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys hit the like button, and if you have not saw it, make sure you guys do. Have a great day.